Oh yeah, family. It's morning time. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, our praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word. See what the words say. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Sister D, good morning to you. Instagram, YouTube, good morning to you. Big John Ross, my niece Daisy, good morning to you. Sister Cheyenne, still praying for you, sis. Mother Deacon Robinson, good morning to you. It's morning time, fam. Get into this word. See what the words say. It is morning time. Okay. Y'all see it? Right there in the word. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, brother Emery. Thank you for hitting that share button. Sister Allison, good morning to you. I see you on your sister Lucy, brother Nafi. Thank y'all for hitting that share button. Good morning to y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Each and every single one of y'all. Good morning, time. Good morning, time. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, man, it is morning time. Welcome to the celebration. I am Deacon Ford. We, us, all of us together, we are the morning motivational family. Shout out to y'all who are still logging on right now. Super shout out to everybody who hitting that share button. Keyshawn, I see you, man. I appreciate you, little cuz. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. For those who may not know, and this is your first time logging in, what we do is we gather together as a family, man. We get into the Word. We get into God's Word, and we see what the Word say. That's what we do. We get into the Word, and we see what the Word say. We look at these principles, this, this, this script that God gave us, and we apply it to our lives, man. And so this morning, we're looking at Psalm 27, verse number 1. Psalm 27, verse number 1. Shout out to those who are still logging on. Sister Natasha, I see you. Good morning to you, Sister Ellie. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all who are logging on at, at the live. Those who are going to catch it later on, Evangelist Pons, uh, Deaconess Petronella. Good morning to y'all, uh, Missionary Jackson. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. Like I said, Psalms 27, we'll be looking at verse number one this morning. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all know how we do it. Come on in real quick. Big hug to each and every single one of y'all. Thank God for y'all, man. Y'all grab your word. Y'all grab your word. I don't want you to take my word for it. I need y'all to get into the word for yourself. That's Psalms 27. We will be looking at verse number one. Thank y'all for being a part of the celebration. Let us pray. God, Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus. God, we thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, hallelujah. If we had 10,000 tongues, God, we couldn't thank you enough. We thank you this morning that you are the great I am, that you are the creator of all things, the sun, the moon, the stars, the universes. Father God, and you created us and you care for us. You care for us so much so that you gave your only begotten son. And we're just thankful this morning. We're celebrating this breath of life that you gave us. And as we gather together in this fashion, our prayer is that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the things that we read that you will allow your holy spirit to guide us into all truth and revelation we thank you and we love you in jesus name we pray amen once again y'all psalm y'all jumping y'all jumping the psalms with me uh, psalms number one psalms 27 verse number one should i say shout out to y'all who are still logging on i see you on here uh first lady Edmonds. i see you on here queen k i see you on here sister sister bobo good morning to you and uh, see you on here, Sister Jess. Thank you all for being a part of the family. Sister Sarah, I see you on here. Sister Chantel, listen, if y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. So y'all hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. I see you on here, Sedavia. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Psalms 27, verse number one. The word reads, the Lord is my light and my salvation. In whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. 
Whom shall I be afraid? May God add a blessing to the reader and the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. The Lord is. I'm telling you, that just dropped in my spirit. That was on, uh, that was on, 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 um, what the day, the day, what the day is, Wednesday, okay, this, yeah, that was on Monday, man, I was just thinking about the Lord is, the Lord is, like, what, like, how, how is that, you know, it just kept ringing in my spirit, the Lord is, the Lord is, and so then when I opened up the word this morning, and I started to meditate and ask God where to go, he led me right here, and it says, the Lord is the light and my salvation, my light, my light, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I feel? Like, like my illumination, you know, like, my, like, like everything that exudes from me, my light is the Lord. That's him. He is my source. He is my source. Not, not just, he is not just my resource, but he is my source and my salvation. Whom shall I feel? When I got God on my side, I don't care who is against me. The Bible, the Bible clearly tells me that as long as I got God on my side, I will be all right. So I don't care how they come. I don't care how they conspire. I don't care how they team up. As long as we got God on our side, we're going to be all right. The Bible tells us that he is the strength, the strength of my life. So where I, where I go to where I go to refill, when I feel like I'm empty, when I feel like I'm running low, to feel like I'm running on fumes, when I feel like I'm making all the wrong decisions, the wrong choices. The Bible tells me that he is the strength of my life. If I want to live a long, strong, productive life, I got to tap into my strength. And my strength is the Lord. The Lord is my strength. Of whom shall I be afraid? Y'all see what it say over there. Faith over fear. God over everything. Together we have made love great again. Love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And when I have God on my side and he is my light and he is my salvation and he is my strength, whom shall I feel? Whom shall I be afraid of, man? You could come with that. You could come with all of that because I know I got God on my side. He going to protect me. He going to keep me. He going to love me. He going to make sure I'm situated. He going to do all that thing. He is going to sustain me. He will sustain me by his name alone. By his name alone, he will sustain me. And the Bible is specifically telling us, giving us, he's giving us, the Bible is giving us direct characteristics of God by saying the Lord is blank. This is what he is. For those who may not know who, who he is and what he is and all of this is foreign to you, all of this is new to you, you ain't have a grandmama that brought you to church, you ain't have parents that brought, so you don't really have and understand a full concept of God. He's breaking it down. It's telling you. It's defining him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid and whom shall I feel? Mm -mm -mm. Somebody need to adopt that this morning. You need to adopt that in your personal philosophy. And your personal philosophy and the way that you carry yourself and the way that you move, the way that you carry your being, adopt that into it. Adopt this into it. Adopt this understanding. Adopt this thinking, knowing that the Lord is. God is. Come on, y'all. God is. But it's a wrap for the foolishness, y'all. You know, a long time ago, it expired. Reflection, accountability, application, and preparation. We're getting prepared to walk into our purpose and fulfill our God-given destiny. It's right there in the word, man. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid, man? Y'all, please get into the word for yourself. Sharpen your weapon by reading your word. Get into this word. And when you read your word, jump into that comment box and say, I read my word. Listen, I love y'all. God bless you. I'm signing off. Got to get ready to get on up out of here. And uh, y'all make sure, man, you read your word. Please keep each other in prayer as everybody has something going on. Something going on. We got some, And it don't got to be something negative. 
It, it may not. You you could be you about to launch your business. You could be about to have, you know, you, you could be about to bring a beautiful baby into this world. Y'all keep each other into prayer, man. Everybody keep one another in prayer. Those that are going through it, those that you may not even think need prayer, man. Everybody, everybody don't carry this stuff on. Everybody don't wear their emotions on their shoulders, on their sleeve. It's some people going through stuff and they like this right here. They quiet about it. They holding it down. They carrying their own. Just because they don't get all on Facebook and they ain't calling everybody on the phone don't mean that they don't need prayer. So let's keep one another in prayer, man. Keep everybody lifted up. I love y'all. God bless you. About to sign off, man. Give, give me a big hug. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all come on in real quick. I love y'all. God bless you. Y'all make sure y'all read this word, man. That's Psalms 27, verse number one. That's what we looked at. Psalm 27, verse number one. Morning time, fam. It is morning time. All right. I love y'all. God bless you. Catch y'all on the next go round.